Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my investing videos. And in this video, I am going to talk about my money. How am I doing? What kind of return am I getting on my money? It has been a while, several months. I don't remember the last time I did a video. And so I thought naturally a good video for me to do would be a video on what kind of returns am I getting. I've done lots of videos on how to invest, how to buy and sell stock options, particularly the option caller strategy. And so naturally, I figure people would like to know, how am I doing? Do I just talk the talk or do I actually walk the walk? So without further ado, let's get into this. And the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down and I'm going to show you that this is my IRA. I have a Roth IRA and you can see right there in yellow, it says that I've already contributed the maximum amount, uh, $6,500. That's the maximum amount that I'm allowed, kind of giving away my age a little bit. You know that I must be at least 50 years old or I could only put in $5,500. So anyways, this is my Roth IRA. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my transaction history. And I'm going to put in this year, January the 1st. Looks like those dates are already there. And I'm going to click the view and now I'm going to scroll down and you can see that I'm a pretty darn active investor slash trader. I buy and sell stocks and options and stocks and options scrolling down, 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 down. And if you get really bored, then go ahead and pause the video and count all the transactions that I've done and put a little message in my comment box. You have bought, made 70 transactions or whatever. Me, I'm not that bored. Uh, I, I just like investing and making videos. So that's so you know that I am very active in the world of investing. So back to this now. Cut to the chase. How am I doing? What kind of return am I making? So I'm going to click on gain and loss right there. This is TD Ameritrade and that's how you do that. And then I'm going to put in January the 1st. Looks like those dates are already there. And I'm going to click the view. And these are realized. You can see there's a realized gain box unrealized gains and unsettled oops uh, oops uh, get out of that there unsettled closed positions so the only one I care about is realized gain loss realized gain loss that means that those are stocks or options or whatever that I have bought and sold and I am out I've either made my money or I lost my money okay so these are the realized gains and now I'm going to scroll down you can see that I've traded Apple, I've done Bank of America, I've done Nugget, Direction Daily Gold Miners, I did some Netflix, I did Twitter, and that's everything that I've done this year. And here at the bottom are the totals. So it's funny. It says that I have invested a total of $100,000. Now you, you saw my account here. Uh, I don't have anywhere near $100,000, right? I only got... 28 grand right so going back to that uh, the reason why it, it shows $100,000 is because I have bought and sold lots of calls and puts and uh, calls and puts are leveraged 100 to 1 that means one call option equals 100 shares of that stock whichever stock that you've bought the call on or the put uh, the call or the or, or contracts to buy the stock at a set price and put options are contracts to sell the stock and so I've done lots of buying and selling of options for a total of 100,000, which is leveraged. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the cost right there. And then the closed, these are the proceeds. So clicking down, I've spent 100,000, but the proceeds are 105,194. And there in the green numbers, uh, that's the grand total. That's how much money I've made this year. $5,197. So let's take a look at how I'm doing. $5,197 in an account of about $28,600 and whatever dollars and some change. So my return has been about an 18% return. And I feel pretty darn good about that. Because if you look up the top hedge funds in the world, the top hedge fund managers... Uh, most of them do not make the return that I just made. So I am outpacing many of the top hedge funds.
funds in the world, and I'm doing it on my own. So I feel pretty darn good about this return again. Back to gain and loss here, and $5,197. So what would you do if you woke up one morning and all of a sudden you have $5,000 added to your account? There's a lot of things that I could do with that five grand, right? Now this is my Roth IRA, so I'm not gonna touch it for a while. I'm going to continue to let my account grow and build on itself, hoping that I have several hundred thousand dollars in the near or even in the semi-near future, I'd be okay. If I can get a lot of money in five or 10 years, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, but $5,100, I'm pretty happy about that. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and the reason why, this, this video isn't just to brag or to show off, a lot of why I'm doing this video is to motivate people out there uh, that want to invest so that you know that investing is not as hard as you think it is. And also so that you know that even if you don't have that much money, you can still do very well in the stock market and you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be a hotshot Wall, Wall Street broker. All you have to do is have a little bit of money, have the discipline to open up an account even if it's just a regular account it's better than nothing but I strongly suggest you get a Roth IRA so that you can grow your money tax-free and if you have a little bit of money uh, hopefully this will encourage you that as long as you have a plan and you go by what's comfortable for you you can do as well as anybody else in this world you don't have to give your money to anybody else uh, Vanguard or uh, Magellan, Fidelity, Schwab. You don't have to do that. You can do it yourself. Open an online account and you can go to town. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope I, I've motivated you a little bit and feel free to leave any comments. Thank you for watching and have a good day.